My people, this beautiful and valuable slipper has been lost by someone. Will the owner please come forward? Your Supreme Highness, my daughter lost her slipper at this very place on her way home from a lute lesson. Put your foot in it, honey. <laughs> it always was a little snug. Next. I'm next. No, you're not. But, uh... Out! I believe we might have frightened off the rightful owner by our presence. Let's leave the slipper here, hide nearby, and see what happens. But that's the same girl who tried to steal it yesterday. I'll have her thrown into prison forever. No, wait! She's stealing it. Now I'll get her. No! Perhaps she's taking it for her mistress. Let's just follow her, see what she does. Yes, Your Highness. She will be surrounded at all times. Ah, ah, she's hiding in the cave. Shall we arrest her? No, wait! Not yet! My friend, the precious golden slippers are together again. Now you can return to the pond of your forefathers. Mother, look what she has! You've stolen the king's slipper, you little thief! No, please, don't take them. <gasps> A matching pair! Our fortune is made! This is our ticket out of the cave! Please, the slippers must be together so Gold Eyes can go to the pond of his forefathers. I have a better idea. I'll take both slippers and sell them to the king for a handsome price. It's wrong for you to have them. You little nothing orphan! Stop! The king! And the handsomest one! We caught the thief, your highness. I will punish her for the rest of her life. Who are you? The worst stepdaughter a stepmother could be cursed with. What is your name? Ye Shen. Ye Shen. What are these slippers to you? They are my friend, my poor dead fish, Gold Eyes. That's it. She has to be put away. Please, explain. Gold Eyes changed his bones into magic slippers so I could go to the festival. But I feared I'd be found out, so I ran away and lost one slipper. The slippers must be placed together, or my friend is doomed never to join his forefathers. Then do so. But first, place them on your feet. the one I danced with. Thank you, Yishen. Now I can go. Your dreams are about to come true. Farewell, my friend. He was a good eating fish. I'll say that for him. Well, Yishen, take off the slippers and the rest of it. I'm your guardian. They belong to me. No! Yishen is a free person. Your friend, the mystical fish, has brought me into your life for a reason. I would be honored if you would be my queen. If I am destined to be your queen, then I am happy beyond belief. I will do everything to fulfill your trust and love. Isn't it wonderful? I certainly brought her up right. We'll come visit you at the palace, Yeshen, my dear! So Yeshen and the king lived happily ever after, but her wicked stepmother and stepsister were caught in a cave-in and never heard from again. And if you liked Yeshen, the Library of Congress thinks you'd enjoy these other books, too. Tattercoats, an old English tale by Flora Annie Steele, and Cinderella by the Brothers Grimm. Your local library and bookstore will help you read more about it. And be sure to join us next time for another CBS Story Break.